Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this outline text reveal animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it for any kind of text. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width the night will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps. Duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Let's create one more composition for our text. Let's call this one text. As the things will remain same, just click on OK. Now select the text tool and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type create and let's align it to the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's make its anchor point in the center. So select the layer, hold down control key and double click on this. Now we can select this, press S to scale this up. Just set it to whatever size you want. Perfect. Now we can go back to the main composition and we can add a background. So right click new, let's add a background. So let's create a solid and I'm going to make this little bit off white color. So somewhere around here. Perfect. Let's click on OK. Now let's drag our text and on this one we are going to first apply fill. So it's completely up to you, you can use whatever colors you want. So I'm going to apply this and let's make this little bit darker. Something like that. Perfect. So we are ready to trace out some lines and in order to do that we are going to select the pen tool and we are going to just simply click and hold on the shift key then click over here so that you will have a line. I'm going to change its color to black for now or let's keep it at red like that. Now we can increase it so that we can see the line. Let's align it to the center as well. Now we can go inside the line and there are a couple of things that we have to do. First in order to make the dashes we can go inside the content. Let's open up shapes and stroke over here we have this option for dashes just click on this plus icon and you can see that we are able to see some dashes now if you want to increase the size then you can increase this parameter to whatever you want so let's lower this down and keep it somewhere around here now i'm going to lower down the stroke so let's set this to two so that we can see the line perfect now there are a couple of things that we have to do so first we are going to animate this line so let's add a trim path now let's go inside the trim path and I'm going to add keyframe for the end and I'm going to set this to zero. Now let's move to somewhere around one and a half or two seconds and I'm going to set this to 100. Now let's move to somewhere around four seconds and let's add a keyframe for start and let's go to somewhere around here. Probably let's make it over here and let's move it to 100. Now we can select all the keyframes, press F9 to ease them. Then let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, make sure you are using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now we can select the keyframes and I'm going to change the easing to look something like that. Perfect. Now if I play back, you can see that the line will start and after that it will go back like that. Now for this, you can play around with the timing of all of these, but we can do this later on as well. So once we have the line, we are ready to place this wherever we want. So I'm going to select the line and I'm going to place it at the very top of this these text. So basically we want to cover all the horizontal and the vertical lines. So let's place it somewhere around here. Perfect. So we have this. Now I'm going to select this. Press Ctrl D. Now we are going to place one at the bottom. So let's place this one at here. Now I want this to come from the other side. I don't want both the lines to start from here. So we can select this, press R and I'm going to rotate it by 180 degree. Perfect. So now if I play back, you can see that this will come from this side and this one will come from the other side. Now we can select these, this line and I'm going to press Ctrl D and let's create one more for this angle, for this portion and let's align it over here. Perfect. Now we can select the top one and I'm going to duplicate it and let's place it over here let's duplicate it and i'm going to place one like that again it's completely up to you. you can add how many lines you want perfect so we have created something like that cool now we are ready to add some horizontal vertical lines so in order to do that let's select one of these so i'm going to select this one press ctrl d and let's move it to the top you can probably change its color so that it's easily identifiable. Now let's rotate it so that this line becomes vertical. So I'm going to set the angle to 90 degree. Now it's quite big. So let me just quickly align it to the center. Now we can select the pen tool. We can select the endpoints. Now hold on the shift key and just move these endpoints. So let's select this. Hold on shift key and let's move it twice. Or maybe we can zoom in. 
just do it however you want and you can make the length however big you want now once you're done with this let's go to the very beginning and you can see that this is coming from the top and let's select this and i'm going to place it to this side something like that perfect now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and let's place one at this point now i'm going to rotate it by 180 degree so 90 plus 180 that's 270 so now one will come from the top and the other one will come from the bottom like that so in the same way we can create these vertical lines for all of the other text as well let me just quickly do that let's select this press ctrl d just simply align them wherever you see these vertical lines and over here we have this a now at this point you can probably make it at an angle so that it matches the angle of the a like that and let's duplicate this now i'm going to rotate it to the other side let's place it over here now just rotate it so that it covers the other side as well now i have created all the lines so now if i play back you can see that we have these lines coming up and you can see that we have covered all the characters now let's quickly change their color so it's actually quite easy let's apply a fill effect to this layer and now we can select the fill layer now go to edit and let's copy this with the relative property links now you can select all the other layers on which you want the fill same fill color so let's select them go to edit and just simply paste it like that now you can select the original layer which from which you copied and over here you can just change it to whatever you want and you will notice that all the other layers will have the same color as well so this is how you can use the linked properties so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue now let's animate our text as well so in order to do that we can go inside this composition now i'm going to select the text layer right click and let's go to create and let's create shape from text now we have this and let's open it up go to add and we can add trim path here as well let's go to trim path let's add a keyframe for the end let's set this to zero now we can move to somewhere around four seconds and let's set this to 100 so that we have this sort of animation again you can easy ease them whatever you want but for this one let's keep it right that perfect so here you can see we have our text building up and we have all these other lines now i'm going to select all of them and let's press u we can probably play around with the timing of the keyframes and let's add them over here perfect now our next step is to just offset these layers randomly so just randomly place them here and there and have some delay to this so now if i play back you can see that we have these random lines appearing up and after that they go away like that so we are pretty much done with their animation now let's add some camera movements so in order to do that let's select all of these layers except the background and make them 3d now we can go to layer and let's create a camera layer new let's add a camera and i'm using this 35 mm just click on ok let's create one more layer for the null object and let's make it 3d now we can select the camera and let's parent it to the null perfect let's select this press p for position let's add a keyframe s for scale let's add a keyframe for rotation as well now you can select this press u to reveal all the keyframes perfect now let's go to the very beginning and we are going to change its position so first of all let's pick a point somewhere around here and now you can start playing with these and you can just start rotating them and you can find a really nice angle so we can probably scale this up like that and just play around with its angle and just find whatever you think looks good so i think this angle looks good and let's play around with the position as well so i'm going to move it to this side and we can probably scale in a little bit more and let's position it to this side now we can just go somewhere around here just copy these keyframes and paste them just copy and paste now at this point i'm going to just change the position so that we have our text completely revealed so just move it to the left side like that now we can select the keyframes let's move them to the very beginning now if i play back you can see that we have this very nice camera movement and we have all these characters coming up like that now we can play around with their position so let's go somewhere around here and we can have and now we can move 
these keyframes as well. Now select all of them, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor and you can play around with the easing as well. So let's move them like that. And these we can just move it like this. Perfect. Now we can go back. And now if I press play, you can see we have this very nice animation. And at last we have this going back and we can probably add a little bit of delay. Now let's select the scale over here and I'm going to just move it far away. So, and I'm going to make this little bit smaller like that. So now if I play back, we have created this animation. And if you don't want the text to stop, then you can just simply move these little bit ahead as well so that it will stop once all the characters have been made. And then we will have this final reveal. Perfect. So we have everything. Let's make this little bit more interesting by adding some depth of field. So you can press A8 twice on the camera layer and just enable the depth of field. Now, if I increase the, now we can increase the aperture. So if I increase this quite a bit, you can see that now some of the areas will be blurred and some of these will be in focus. So we can just play around with this. Now you can play around with the focus distance as well. So you can simply lower it down if you want to focus on the areas which are closer to the camera or you can just move it far away if you want to focus on areas which are like far away like here. So let's pick somewhere in the middle so that this area is like in focus. Something like that. Perfect. So we can add a keyframe for aperture as well because we want the final position to be completely visible. And over here, I'm going to set the aperture to zero. Now everything will be in focus. So now if I play back, you can see we have this very nice text building animation. And at last we have our final text reveal. Perfect. So this is how you can create this kind of animation. Now, if you want to change the text, then you have to like do the animation part over here once again, and you can play around with the position of these vertical lines as well. So this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,